Um, uh, Darko, thank you very much for your time today. Um, what are your predictions for the rest of the season, starting with the NBA winner? Fear the deer, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking like Milwaukee winner. Why is that? Why, why do you think Milwaukee can do it? First of all, because I'm a fan. <laughs> and then the second, they have a really tight game. They are good guys, and they deserve it. Who they is your them. Who is your rookie of the year winner? I mean, the guy who just made that uh, dunk, you know, Zion Williamson, definitely, man, big boy. Regular season MVP. I'm going for MVP, Yanis Antetokounmpo. Why is that? Man, the guy is only 25 and you know what he's doing. He's just like a freak, Greek freak. <laughs> um, there are going to be a lot more games played in European primetime due to the condensed schedule. Are you looking forward to being able to catch more of those games at a better time for you? Yeah, definitely for me. I mean, it's going to sound strange, but the best thing of this pandemic and this is that I saw so many games, like vintage games, NBA, European basketball, like uh, Olympics and everything. And now it's going to be NBA, like so condensed. So definitely I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to see many, many games. Um, who from the cast of Casa de Papel would you think would make the best NBA player and why? You know, in the first two seasons, I was the tallest one. But then uh, uh, in the uh, third season, two new characters came in, Marseille and Bogota. And both of them uh, played uh, basketball in the high school. And they are really tall guys. They're like, uh, I'm six foot and they're like six, three, six, four, something like that. So I think uh, definitely Marseille and Bogota. So, who's your favorite NBA player of all time and why? Man. My favorite of all of time, definitely uh, Karim Abdul-Jabbar. For me, he's, he's the GOAT for me, you know. And why? Because, man, I'm like... Uh, I'm 43 years old, you know, I like old school basketball, you know, and I like that sky hook, you know, and that's, that's the reason why. What is it about the NBA that you do love the most? And what have you missed the most during the hiatus? I mean, um, I'm, I'm into, I'm working into, uh, in an entertainment industry. And that's what I like most in NBA is that entertainment vibe, you know? They're just having fun there. You can see that because here in Europe, basketball as football, as you know, in England, or it's different. Now it's changing and starts to be more like, come on, guys, let's have fun. But actually where I'm from, it's like Serbia or like I've been in Greece. The basketball games is just like kind of war, you know, like, like in England with football, you know, before. And it's what I like. It's like I like... I like um, Having fun, man. Seeing like funny moments, seeing that crazy dunk, seeing that uh, crazy ankle breaking movements and hip breaking movements and all of that, you know, that's what I like. And what I'm missing, of course, man, you miss to see live games. You see to see you, you miss to see games with the fans in the in the arena, and you know, that's 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 what I'm missing most. <laughs>